feel that uh, us being in the industry, mm. uh, not only are we rappers and uh, artists, we are also actors and actresses. Mm. Yeah, yeah, what's happening, guys? What's popping, my fancy? What's good, guys? We are here now. Finally, the podcast you guys been waiting for, and it, it's happening right now. And you can check, man, the setting is different. Zunus Nyoani, guys, we are out here chilling at Holy Ten Script. This is what's happening, guys. The longly awaited Holy Ten podcast is happening with me, your host, the most DJ Mambo the King. Before then, I'm very guys, and it, I want you guys to subscribe, comment, share, download it. Yeah, so now we are here. Guys, my camera guns was like a wonder. We know, right? We know. We got the guy here. Mujaya Arpanapa. Holy, what's happening? What's good, DJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is nice, my G. Yeah, man. It's, it's really, you know, nice to have you on this podcast. Yeah, you know, yeah. because and also man i want to congratulate you on the um ghana tour okay yeah, how, how was it it was beautiful man it was beautiful we got to learn a lot meet uh, some different people see the different culture there so we needed it definitely yeah. and did you love it was beautiful <laughs> it was the best yeah 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 so now to my fans um ari 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 konzo kandidate we know you, you you dropped um a documentary but we just want to have that brief background of you who is holy ten Diani, Muchaya. all right mm. holy ten is the leader of the youth and speak of the truth yeah uh the reason why i have given or moved with that narrative here which lead of this because the truth is because of the kind of message that i bring to the people mm. i'm out here trying to support the girl child mm. i'm out here trying to get the boy child of drugs because yeah. i understand all these things the factors the push and pull factors that mm. get people into this mm. so i have given myself that task and that assignment mm. to be for the people so holy 10 is for the people it's for the people yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, okay so holy 10 let's talk about school now um which school, which schools did you attend uh, primary school, I was at um, SOS Herman Gemina mm. at one point. Then I went to North Park Primary School. Mm. And then I went to Goldridge College mm. uh, for my high school. Yeah. And then I went to Spaces College to mm. finish my high school. Yeah. And then I finished it off in yeah, somewhere. <laughs> in between. In somewhere. All right. So <laughs> now let's talk about, you know, um, Cyprus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hate to work on going to Cyprus. Yeah, now I was there, I was studying law. Law? Yeah. What did you do? I did For real? I did it. I did it. I did it. Definitely. Mm. Wow. Now, let's talk about the rise to fame now. Mm. Rise to fame. Only thing, um, you rose to fame um, during time ye ye lockdown. Okay. Personally, around, yeah. was around March thereabout. That's when I started hearing the, there's a guy who's called Only Ten. Only Ten. Yeah, that's when I song the song. Yeah. Do you think with your COVID helped you, you know, to blow out? Because when you focused on social media and then you helped, uh, you, you pushed my weeks ago through so, uh, social media and it helped you. Uh, no, I, I can't exactly say COVID helped me, mm. but I'm going to say that the, the lockdown conditions that were there mm. allowed the people to be more on the internet. Mm. And my presence was so heavy on the internet. Mm. And, you know, everyone was at home, there was lockdown. You know, I can't say that covid helped me because covid is such a bad thing that has mm-hmm. r.i.p to everyone that has lost their life mm. um 
it was the lockdown. Mm. You know, when we were sitting there to Junior music and everyone was on the internet because mm. they had to be home. Mm. That's when they, they discovered me through Ndarimiro. Mm. Okay, so there's Holy Ten. Yeah. So mm. now let's talk about Ndarimiro. Mm. The song. How did it come about for you to say no? Let me drop a track. Um, a joint called Ndarimiro. Yeah. What motivated you? I'm always saying with Ndotara Nyasima Zirandoita. Sometimes maybe it's not my personal story or it's someone else's. Mm. But Fundaremiro was mine. Mm. You know, I was just talking about things that I was going through. Could you know don't muga pamba pasina sugar? Yeah. And it yeah. and then you go wherever you go mm. and you get into a state where your parents don't even know how to control you because mm. gonna go up the questions like that. Mm. You know, that's how hard the economy can be upon mm. the family. Mm. So I was just writing and because na so me to put it now after the remir um pakombeta ka time you release some of the songs mm. in between but then to me and other people out there we felt like mwananda kubirai gave you that final push to say this is only 10 i such jindo mwananda kubirai what's mm. your take on that i think mwananda kubirai was it was about uh, the it's a good song it's a very nice song mm. but i think that's when the people got to understand that i have a voice mm. yeah because mm. you know how everyone was on the the internet with memes saying holy ten mm. with the horsey mm. voice and everything and mm. that because i feel like my voice the people have accepted it mm. and they identify me by that mm. even though no, i think as this thing was oh we are your voice and mm. stuff like that mm. so when i was it was a hit man it was yeah, it was a breakthrough mm. and it was a song that people can play mm. very cool Mm. and it also mm. has a meaning you know i was talking about the marriage process oh yeah. 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 so can you explain the whole the whole process about mwananda kubira so mwananda kubira you know that i'm encouraging anyone who's or tz saga and who's or tz yeah it's yeah. about that kind of a situation because mm. it happens a lot in our shona culture mm. yes this is uh someone i end up on nakirwa mm. like a portrait a love yake mm. like an obama like mm. an eye and then you know in on the chakirai kunu yeah you have to leave it yeah. under the door yeah um, for CI mm. so it's just that the whole process would the baba was origin mm. Man, that, be right. Man, that, be right. yeah. that song was fire man yeah. now let's come to risky life mm-hmm. risky life album how long did it take you to project that whole album combine it and say guys the album how long did it take you uh for the album i'll mm. say this some of the songs that i put on there maybe about three or four mm. i might have had them for two or three years because mm. i feel like music grows mm. music is like anything that grows mm. it grows mm. it has to be ready so sometimes i have songs that i am writing and i feel like songing i said they are ready yeah yeah so about four or five songs mm. and that's one out you know let's do this mm. but i'll tell you something mm. Some of those songs on that on that album, oh, yeah. we recorded them three days before the album came out. Wow! There's a song I recorded on the day the album came out. Wow! Really? Yes. Cool, cool. Didn't you feel like um pressure? Yeah, you got to walk down release the album. But then there's a song that you feel like people have to listen to this song as well. That's the reason why I would end up writing a song mm. the day the album came out. Mm. I was talking to the boys. I said, no, no, the album is not complete. Mm. I have there's something else I haven't said. Which I'm, not song gonna, is I'm not going to tell you which song it yeah. is, <laughs> but I wrote it on the day. Yeah. I said, no, no, no this song has to be on there. Mm. Yeah, okay. I wrote it. Maybe you don't want to tell us, but now I'll, I'll ask this question. Wakatuka Amai on the album. I don't know if, that, if that's the song or what, mm. but it sounds like it's a very emotional song. And, you know, comment section and people, um, they always comment on your relationship and your mom. Sounds like you have a very emotional connection with your mom. Mm-hmm. What can you explain to the fans out there about Wakatu Gamai? Uh, Wakatu Gamai is mm-hmm. quite a real song. Mm-hmm. And like I was mentioning when the interview was starting that mm-hmm. it's not that every story is mine, mm-hmm. but some stories are mine. Mm-hmm. And that one specifically is mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's something that I acknowledge that my I love my mom so much, something that everyone knows from the songs that I do. Mm-hmm. But we've had contention. Yeah. Real, real contention. With your mom. Yeah, man, we've had wrestling, mm-hmm. you know, WWE, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And I'm mature enough to to understand the consequences of things like mm-hmm. that. You know, we, we grew up to choose versions like that's who turned about, so we grew up to it's quite just the basic element of respect. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm a man. I'm not a perfect man. Mm-hmm. That's what I always try to acknowledge and try to make people understand. You do it all my mistakes. And I've made mistakes in my life. Mm-hmm. And I've made mistakes 
of mm. going against my mom and contending with her. Yeah. And the moon and also we see the consequences of something like that. Mm. So the reason why I sing like that with that emotion with work to come my in on the story mm. is because I don't want someone else to do it. Yeah. Amongst the the, the 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 youth that I'm leading and everything like mm. that. I know the consequences because mm, mm, I've done it. Yeah. Right. Mm. So I try to push for this thing. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Wow. That's dope. Now, let's come on the girl child say um again earlier on you mentioned Kuti, you have a very, you know, big connection to, you know, issues affecting the girl child mm. and taking boys off drugs and off the street, right? Kuma choose the song Machus mm. and um Kumbaku Nevan. Mm. Those songs they are mostly um portraying the way guys abuse girls when they go out with them. Mm. Wait, wait, why now are you coming and saying no guys? Why are you standing up and saying no guys? You need to respect our ladies in this way. Uh with the message that I'm trying to bring, mm. I feel like it's very important not to upset people. Mm. I feel like there's a way you mm. even as we were growing up, there's a way that you have to instruct someone. Mm. For too long, mm. So, with presenting my music, I've always had a message that I want to bring to the people. And mm. There's a way to do it without and stuff like that. So, right. you have to consider a lot of things that could have pushed her into that thing mm. that she's doing. Mm. There's a lot of things that are going on. Mm. You have to also consider a lot of things that brought this kid into drugs. Don't be quick to just arrest Daddy. them or you know, just beat them up. Mm. There's a lot of things that are happening. Mm. So that's where I stand in the opinion and message. Wow. Mm. Wow, that's dope, man. And yeah, I'd wanna also say guys out there please stop abusing vascana and also stop taking my drugs guys those things are bad holy now let's come to awards now i'm doing marco magazara my awards over 10 mm. awards mm. you are very young and in a space of around two years you've achieved more than 10 awards mm. already how mm. do you feel about that you know? I feel special to be honest. I feel appreciated. National treasure. National treasure. <laughs> National treasure. Yeah. I feel I feel like a hero. Yeah. Uh, but I realize that I only get these awards because I tell the truth. Mm. Yes. For me, you not all far out and shit. Okay, fine. So if they are awarding me for this, mm. then they're getting the message. Mm. For me, at the end of the day, it's about the message. Mm. Does the girl child understand what I'm trying to explain? Mm. You know, does it? Do you understand exactly what Bozhang is about before mm. you just start jumping around? Jumping around. Like, what exactly was he trying to say? Mm. So mm. when they give you awards and they support you and they give you my views and they're there at their shows, mm. you know that is all good. They're appreciating. So I'm very appreciated. Mm. Nice. Which one is your favorite awards? It's the People's Choice. People's Choice? Yes. Song of the Year. Nah. People's Choice. No, it's it's the People's Choice because yeah. that's the one that the people determine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And it's all about the people. Wow. That's dope, man. Mm. Now, I want to talk about tours outside um, Zimbabwe. Mm. How is the reception when you go out of the country? They don't understand Shona that much. It's a crowd, they are there, and mm. they want to hear what Holiday is about. They're hearing the buzz in Zimbabwe. Holiday Argurira, mm. is hot in mm. Zimbabwe. But then you go out there to a different audience altogether, and then you're sharing stages with different artists from all over this globe. Mm. How, how, how does it feel? And what's the reception from the people? It's very interesting, to be honest. Uh, that's the reason why even Panakat mm. I, I have a kind of a different way of doing things because I've gotten to get exposure among my cultures, mm. seeing other artists and everything. Mm. I was in South Africa. That's where I've been performing the longest yeah. because there was a tight lockdown here. Mm. 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 We met a lot of people, even yeah. from different cultures. Mm. Uh, some people get to listen to the song for the first time. Mm. Some people don't even understand what you're saying. Mm. But you can tell, okay, fine. You know how we do when we're listening to another video? Mm. Mm. We don't mm. understand the thing mm. they say. Just but we love the music. Mm. So I got to experience that. Mm. You know, I was watching South Africans that you bop my heads out to Bozango. Mm. You know, they're subscribing and they're telling their friends. Mm. That's when I realized that the culture can actually penetrate. Mm. Then mm. I went to Ghana. Mm. Ghana, I got the chance to go to my my, my TV stations, our, my radio stations. I will shout out to episode. Mm. Mm. It was beautiful, man. The reception is beautiful. Mm. It's, it's overwhelming. They they are ready. They're dying for culture. They mm. want to understand what do you do, how do you do it, mm. what are you saying. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow, that's nice, man. Only in your music career, Baba Gatanga, Kusika is up until now. Have you ever had fake friends? Ah, yeah. Well, no, 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 of course, friends. Of course. Mm. What had happened? Was, you know, these guys are fake friends in the industry. 
you see what happens with fake friends is um it's about agendas mm. when you sit down more tower out it's good idea is it you have a common goal mm. and then us, maybe our motivation is because at night calf mm. and that's mm. the reason why we want to pursue this goal mm. what happens to calf mm. i've because seen a lot of people changing their attitudes mm. when there's money on the table mm. Mm. a lot of factors change things mm. right people forget the first thing that you said the first day mm. yeah magadi mm. yes. wow does being famous change a person kuti munhu atambiri ma streets akuzikana zimbabwe se yakumziva akurira does it change a person his character his attitude does it change a person i think it does it just depends how it's going to change you mm. because that they're going to change you for the worst or for the best mm. uh, for, for someone like me i feel like fame changed me mm. to realize that okay fine i can't do certain things because of what i represent Uh, mm-hmm. we're all humans who make mistakes but now i have to narrow mm-hmm. those mistakes mm-hmm. because when a 14 year old that might see you at your mm-hmm. worst point mm-hmm. and start doubting the message that you're preaching mm-hmm. you know things like that but some people get carried away they start doing drugs they start doing mm-hmm. hoes mm-hmm. and everything like that you know yeah. but it depends mm-hmm. where are you going to let it push you because fame has a lot of pressure mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. wow so now masjids in zimbabwe many organizations are talking about this even the government is talking about this issue gender based violence and it we've heard you um singing a song um about gender based violence what's your opinion on gbv gbv is um is a fight that we're trying to win mm. we're trying to overcome this thing by educating the people about how to handle pressure mm. we like i told you uh, we don't fight people mm. we educate people mm. right there are a lot of things that uh, happen Mm. that lead to gbv mm. sometimes it's arguments sometimes the baba was not going to go go budget amari sakanaka eh vano zotsamwa vano maybe baba wacho is a drug abuser mm. and things like mm. that so i'm working for the population services in bawe mm. yeah, that's the organization that i'm currently working for mm. against gbv mm. and we've been singing songs we've been posting we've been talking about it mm. to educate against it mm. because i know a lot of people my statistics are all over the place mm. about how many people actually die mm. from gender based violence yeah. yeah so it has to stop it has to stop yes. yeah definitely yeah so yeah guys in case you just joined and it is the podcast and chill with the host the DJ Mambo the King and I'm chilling you know only 10 at his crib and we're just having a chat about different issues in the society and also about his music and his music journey up until now Bapaka Tanga his background it up until now and right now guys we know you've been waiting for a lot of things to be asked and answered panap and it so mujaya mm-hmm. ama sisi ari kurira manje anzi kuno zvidzi zvanzi ndiye ani kwa nonzi gamu gamu mm. eh for the next 10 years nya gamu nichange tichiburitsa bit by bit yeah eh, so mm. uh, just follow mm. 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 so for the next 10 years for the next 10 years oh bit by bit bit by bit kuti kangotanga ikwege nura ezvi taka ikwege nura musuno tairo yeah all right so in in um the song such tuma mm. eh, you, you 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 mentioned about um tami moyo yeah. eh chishuwo kufonera tami chishuwo eh mm. what's up what was up between you and tami acha chishuwo 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 dreams of brighter days dreams of brighter days eh mm. chishuwo no, you are allowed. Yeah. Hey, can I only show you how much and um she was complaining on your on your life with her life and um you also responded to her yeah you only 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 my issues uh, you don't listen dirty mm. at times what mm. was up between you and yaya were you guys really in a relationship so much sure. because i remember you posted pa 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 ig saying good ah is in those about boys that night and do my way you know and do my way you know some anyanga waka post yeah but I was trying to go go through your IG but I didn't check the post. I didn't see the post again. What what's up between the two of you? No, uh, I I would like to take the time to really appreciate a friend. Ngatora patora zvinokunetsa pa band on my song you know tara zvinokunetsa. Now I was appreciating your friendship. Mm. Right. You need someone that's going to be there for you mm. 
in a situation where things could go bad mm. and that's yeah good vibes for me mm. she's been a friend for a while mm. and paga ona paguta kamka ku ignore you like that she called me and she said holy i'm going to save you from this mm. right mm. i'm going to save you from this mm. remember when i did the song yeah. and then there was silence and everyone wanted to know what what's going to happen, gonna happen? Yeah. she said i'm going to save you from this mm. even at a time where it was embarrassing kuone kwa ari ari ku propose yeah 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 that's the kind of friend she is oh. she's a very good friend of mine Wow. and she saved wow. me from that wow. so it was basically friendship it was, it was a stand. friendship it was friendship you got the whole of zimbabwe crazy man people think that you guys are already doing but that's the power of friendship mm. that she didn't want to see me in Zizkwa or Gizo mm. Tukwa or whatever so she said i'm going to come through for you wow so in between coming through for you apan ere pa kwazombo filo ta but no we, we, we are. no we actually used to discuss yeah. three three yeah. in nini here yeah, and mm. the boyfriend mm. Mm. Yeah. She has a boyfriend. Mm. She's going to get married soon. Yeah. Something I'm very happy about. Mm. Really. So, it was something that we were doing for the brand. Mm. It was something that we were doing for friendship. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah, that's friends like that are mm. there. Mm. That will save you. So, is Yaya your bestie? Not bestie, but mm. she's my very close friend. She's a very close friend. Yeah, and she's wow. a very good person. That's nice. Now, coming to um Enzo Stalia. Yes. Yeah, the beef the whole hip hop beef ndili mambo hip hop enzo akati ndokukunda ku hip hop yoka tai watambira kuzim danzo iko ko what was it all about the beef between you na enzo aisha mazim danzo artist ngai mbezim danzo mazim hip hop artist ngai mbezim hip hop that's all i was saying that's all i was saying serious mm. but now he tried akaroan um tabita so mm. it, was, mm. it felt like it was actually a proper song because you can even mix the word real stuff mm. yeah. Could you give him credit on that song? Pa unompa out of 10, unompa chi. Taguita say. No, it was a good it was a good song to be honest. I would, uh, I'll probably give it maybe 2 out of 10. <laughs> But it was a good song. 2 <laughs> out of 10. It was a good song. <laughs> so this means this beef is still continuing. Really. No, it's not. Eh, so kapera. As no kapera but then if there's anything that we need to say, yeah. we'll say. Yeah. If there's any way we need to react, mm. we will react that way. Ah, is out to the cage matches. Give me referee. Wow, we're pinna paga at the Africa OIT. Yeah, my side. You wrong. No good to look. But OIT no so sara rope. Ra enzo. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, in case you just join in the podcast and chill, we having fun, man, with Holy Chain Samanyanga, highest achiever kuma youth, leader of the youth of Zimbabwe. And man, it's nice chilling with him here, man. It's it's very inspiring. And you can also tell kuti aiwa podcast ri kufamba, podcast ri inspiring, ri kunakidza. Mujaya, since you are now a public figure, mm-hmm. it, what other ways are you trying to give back to society besides giving them that good music um representing them through my brands a um PS set what mm. other way are you trying to give back to Zimbabwe since mm. it is supporting you what other ways are you trying to give back to the people who are supporting you uh with what happened on 3 August mm. 2020 the mm. day that Emiro came out mm. the day the Zimbabwe discovered me mm. and they even went back to my catalog my songs and I'm body design mm. they said good this is good songs mm. I'm I'm trying to do that for everyone. Mm, mm, I know that there's talent in Jitungiza. Mm, mm, I know that there's talent in Shamba. Yeah, yeah, I know that yeah. there's someone out there that is writing songs right now mm, and no one knows about that person. Mm, was I was in that situation. Mm, But the time I got blow up in the Nathan catalog over five albums. Yeah, yeah. Dad. There's someone out there. Mm. I'm going to go look for that person. And with the publicity that I have now and the platform that I have now. Mm. I've told a lot of them. Chantu ngoda ndi I I'll just expose you. Mm. Mm-hmm. If the people like it mm-hmm. they like it if they don't they mm-hmm. don't mm-hmm. but you have to be known mm-hmm. yes wow. yes that's nice so i'm on the hunt mm-hmm. for every underground and upcoming talent that is out, out there, there. Mm-hmm. and i'll show them and i'll expose them to the people wow that's yeah. nice man that's nice yeah so now who is your major you know influence or your inspiration the person who, 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 whom you can say with him this person inspires me a lot to do this be it ku family side be it an international artist be it anyone your role model or not this is the person who influences holy ten mun uyo ndiye wacho wana ngichi ndi kaona uyo bo i have a couple of people that i'm going to mention mm. uh first of all as far as the music is concerned obviously tini someone but like sika even not to win a grammy mm, mm, and mm. i like the way drake is doing his things mm, and as far as lifestyle is concerned mm. 
Uh, cadence and composure. Mm-hmm. I like the way Wingy D mm-hmm. does his composure. Mm-hmm. Chilled. Mm-hmm. Chilled, yeah. They are, mm. They're even trying to attack him right now. Mm. They're trying to provoke him. Mm. But they won't win, mm. right? Mm. Because he's a man that has learned composure all the way from back there. Mm. That's Wingy D for me. Mm. Now we even go all the way from family. Mm. I feel like I have my father's mind mm. and my mother's heart, mm. right? Mm. So my mom's soft, my dad's smart. Mm. And I, I took that from them, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And I have my boys with me. Mm. That's, that's that's Sean, Sean. as yeah. Bradley as Sean. a kid, yeah. right? Mm. As Charlie, mm. I could mention a lot of my guys. Yeah. They keep me in control. Mm. Mm. It's about control. Mm. They spotlight keep, keep me in control. Mm. Yes. Wow, that's dope, man. Now, out there, when I'm being at Zimbabwe and YouTube, or when I'm not being at Zimbabwe, those mm. people who call themselves influencers, which Three people would you say these guys they helped me push my wigs or they are helping me push my wigs and I would like to say thanks to those guys. Problem is I don't even know the definition of the word being. Mm. We don't even like the word. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's abused. Yeah. 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 What do you call okay, being? Muna anemari. Let's just say Muna Anemari but you can say this person animari mm. mm. helped me. Yeah, we have helped you to say Mpano Angu. The same way that you as a brand now, as Holy Tenor saying, I want to help other artists who are not yet out there on the spotlight. All which right. are the people whom you can say they have influence and they are All right. Uh, that would be the people mm. collectively. Mm. Because Power mm. Stream, I, I could show you the insights. Mm, mm, mm. Each stream Power Group Stream 10 cents. Mm. But it does not matter. It does not matter. It does not matter. It does not and it, mm. all the people that are supporting they are listening to the music mm. sometimes i go out there and i'm mm. taking pictures with people because people see me sometimes they scream at me when they see me and realize it's all it's in mm. sometimes i scream back because mm. i'm happy and i'm excited yeah sometimes after my talk my pictures mm. US. Yeah. Yeah. Five US. Mm. it's what they have mm. And, it, mm. and it's that collectively mm. that is what is that made don't bring a zang them collectively mm. That, those are the people that I have to oh, appreciate actually, and acknowledge. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So, coming now to your future works, my works are Kutera. What have you got in store for us as Zimbabwe, as Holy Ten fans? What is it that you have in store for us? I think I expect of our collabs, whatever projects, what's coming? Everything that we're about to do now, we're going to do it with someone. Mm. It's just collaborations from now. Mm. Because I've been doing all the music by myself and mm. I was sorting a foundation and mm. everything. Like so that people can understand the base of what Holy Ten music is. Mm, mm. But now I know that it's time to branch out. I know that there's so much talent out there. Mm. A fun fact is actually I'm a songwriter. Mm. So I'm actually going to be writing songs from, for some artists. Some artists. So, yeah. Mm. So we're going to be doing that, working with people. Mm. That's what's mm. coming. We're going to be working with, with people. people. Yeah. Working with talent. As mm. Nabazo knows about the party. As Nabazo knows about the Right. The music. I came here for the music. Mm. We have to push the music mm. until mm. Nigeria have to do to music. Zimbabwe music. Mm. Mm. It's that time. Yeah, definitely. You mentioned about about the foundation. Um, you're, you're you're setting up a foundation, um, kind of a trust. Can you briefly explain Kudema fans are those about yeah, the foundation <coughs> as well? All right, the foundation that I'm about to launch, the establishment, mm. the record label is called Samanyanga Sounds. Mm. Right, this is going to be a collective collection of artists whether mm. cinema distribution rights or mm. my songwriting rights mm. but we're gonna have a couple of people that we feel like mm. are talented mm. we're gonna sign them we're actually gonna have a proper launch on my birthday mm. 18 november because mm. wow. i feel like mm. 18 november 18 november Perfect. 2021 yeah we are going to launch samanyanga sounds wow that's yes. dope man so we already have a couple of artists that we're working with mm. and we're going to keep looking and hunting for mm. the gold mm. Mm. Yes. 18 november guys 18 Samanyanga november. sound is dropping. I want to take guys. Mumite, make sure to magazara be it online, be it everywhere. Make sure kuti muripo. Holy, somebody asked me, you know, Uzganzi, I need to ask you this question. You know, wakati onega list kane magoza ako and it. What goals do you have? We know you have my future plans there, mm-hmm. but what are the goals do you have? You know, besides working with those international artists, and also, you know, what are your long-term plans to sustain your brand as as Holy Ten? Because at school, I'm an artist. I could they come on the scene, see me pop. Don't go to that. Because at that time, I'm Holy Ten. Because at that time, I'm DJ Mambo. Because at that time, I'm Sean. One 
that that consistency from Holy Ten to say, guys, Holy Ten now is an icon because mm. you become an icon through consistency. Mm. How are you promising my fans that you're gonna be consistent? I'm gonna be consistent by understanding that uh, I'm not a rumba artist, mm. but they want to listen to rumba. Mm. I'm not a house artist, <laughs> but they also want to listen to house. Mm. I'm a hip hop mm. artist. Mm. They want to listen to hip hop and I'm there. Yeah. So I need to get into a state, a mind state. Yeah, a pinu, nana Lewin, mm. nana Bedman. Mm. Yeah. Nana Shuvenite. Exactly. Mm. And you realize that we can only rise can take a button. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's the reason why I'm out on this quest. Mm. I haven't even been releasing any music mm. for myself. Mm. I'm out there trying to look for the talent mm. because Pavaka Sumuka man Nigerian artists. Mm. Yeah. I'm a piano by Sumuka mm. and Jazik and all them. Mm. I stayed I with Jazik for about two two weeks, mm. and he's nice. the one that was telling me all of these things. Mm. You don't rise by yourself. By yourself. Yeah. Never reinvest in each other. Right. Mm. So that's what I'm trying to do as a long term goal. Mm. You know, I want to sit back with my awards. Mm. That's nice. Mm. That's, that's what I'm ready for. Mm. That's what the culture is waiting for. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. That's dope, man. That's dope. Now, there are some other questions out there mm-hmm. that these fans they wrote to me. After the world, we are going to be chilling. We are going to be chilling. Now we are coming to a segment which I would like to call Hoti 10. Okay. Not Holy 10. Hoti 10. Hoti 10. Pizza. 10 more questions. Ano pizza. Ano pizza. From different sectors. These are people who just say, Mambo, Vanza Holy 10. All right. Starting from UZ. Okay. Number one, Holy 10. Mm-hmm. Would you date a girl with a UZ? Yeah. Why? Because I would date a girl. Mm. Doesn't matter where she's from. Unongo mm. Manyana is a girl. As long as she's a girl. Mm. Now, would you choose number two, politics, or being a pastor? Or can you choose the other? Well, which one would you choose? Politics. Why politics? Because I feel like this is everything that's written down mm. is written down. Mm. Yeah. So can you pass, can you pass? yeah. Let's not experiment with things we don't know. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's very important. Yeah. All right. So you'd rather go with the scripts? Yeah. Like I gender. mean, the politics is law, and mm. the law is. Definitely, the law is straight, mm. right? Yeah, and then every day, no man is above the law, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can, yeah, it is what it is, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Question number three, it's gonna be a crazy, mm-hmm. Holy 10, 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 why the hand? Because I like greeting people. <laughs> ah, this guy is clever. I like greeting people. Just dodging these questions. No, I like greeting people. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like it's a gesture. Yeah. That's why I'm always wearing gloves. Oh, okay. I know Let's that. say beside, be, be, uh, besides the hand. Besides yeah. the yeah. hands. You know what I'm trying to talk about. The hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. That's what I like. <laughs> uh, mm. Okay, number four. Mm. Which weirdest thing has, have you ever done? What have done? Who said Dara? Dara, maybe who said all it in which which we are just thing? Oh, wait, I'm done. That one is because no people want the one is not a wonder. Connie Doro, Connie over excitement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not beers, not beers. Beers, I've never drank beer. Seriously, what car what? A street one. That's not beer, that's vodka. That's vodka. No, that's gin. That's gin. What is it? Yeah, it's gin. I don't even know what it is. It's gin. It's gin. The weirdest thing things. I've ever done under the influence of anything. Mm. I think I prayed. And I don't think wow. you should pray whilst you're intoxicated. Mm, seriously. I think I prayed. Yeah. yeah. Whilst you were intoxicated. And I felt guilty for mm. doing that. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Holy 10. Which rapper in Zimbabwe and it? An artist. Would you say, ah, oh, you got it. It's a no for me. Ah, we are good. Rapper or artist? Or an artist in Zim. In Zim. Okay, let's just say Zim hip hop or yeah, both. both in Zim hip hop. Zim hip hop and, and Zim dance or whatever. An artist chat in Zimbabwe. And I'm like, I don't like this music. Mm, but you like know, that would make them pop, right? Definitely. <laughs> if I said their name, then they'll they train for that. Mm, you don't want to make them trend? No. Nah. Mm, okay, which which genre would you say? Ah, but in any guys, I would not love listening to this genre. I rumba. Understand. I don't like rumba. Mm. I I dance to rumba music, but I don't like rumba. Mm. Why <laughs> don't you like rumba? Why? 
cuz it makes me tired when i'm dancing uno tamba rezi kuda ah no tamba wa dance I don't dance when there's cameras or people but yeah. I really dance. Yeah, so you, you can ask Sean. Yeah. 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 That means patati patata uno tumbo. Mm. Oh, the other rumba songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Next question. What turns you on? What turns you on sexually? I feel like issues about sexualism and everything should be kept private. Mm-hmm. So I'll skip that question. You skip that question. Yeah. All right. Between these people, who would you choose? Who would you say this is my favorite? And it is Pokelo, KVG, na Miss Red. Oh, I love all of them. Mm. You just chet. made it difficult for me. One chat one got ah uyu uyu I've sang about all of them. Both of them. Mm. Those are the only three ladies that I've actually mm. sang about. Mm. Pokelo. Mm. I like the brand. Mm. Miss Red, mm. I like the voice, I like the cadence and the attitude. Mm. KVG, mm. I like the loyalty mm. to her work. Mm. Now, man, she's she's she, now she wakes up in the morning and re- realizes that she's KVG. Mm. And she's KVG for this. Mm. And she does that. Mm. Mm. So I could never make a choice. Wow. Now somebody offers you a one billion um US and it over the only thing. Would you say cool? Or would you say no, Mira? Would you take one billion money or music? I'll take one billion and it, mm. but then I'll lie to him good and Mira. <laughs> to be honest with you, I won't stop the music. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to stop the music. Yeah. And I'm not going to act like I don't like a billion dollars. Yeah. 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 But I'm not going to stop music for anything. Mm. Yeah. The other question. In the group church, I'm going to square for a day. You will change. Okay, number one. Are you a religious person? Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm a Christian. Cool. So, the group could change kwa ngada kusquera ni wanditi kwa prophet madungwe kana kwa passion jangu kwa ngati i can spend a day ndiri o kwa prophet madungwe kana kwa passion jangu na ngati bomira church kana ari mutu jangu ah ah the church that's to me ah then i'm no longer christian that's the honest truth but i'll tell you this i am a christian and i understand the, the thing about diversity i've been to every church bro yeah I've been to the Pentecostal, I've been to the Catholics. Mm. I, I I even hang with some of my friends, Matiko and Gujova's witness and everything like that. The the moon and no accept that. I just want to go where God is yeah. and where God is being represented well. Mm. My man. Mm. Yes, mm. please get that right. Mm. Where men understand that it's God not them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's where I go. To do in that go go come Roma. Masung e go Roma ndo masira. Masung e go FM ndo masira. E go UEFA ndo masira. Jova witness the same as they preach. Mm. Right. Everything. I know what they're doing. Yeah. Because they're pursuing God. Mm. And that's what that's where I want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the last question from a girl called Adija. Mm. Um she she saying ne voice rako iroro um really horse. Mm. 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 No, I'm sure you have uh, my husband. Mm. I know a lot of people want to music whilst they're in the process of doing whatever they're mm. doing. And it, mm. So, Trey songs in the maybe I could do that just with it. Mm. But I'm going to take it to get 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 I can't be out there sleeping with everyone, bro. That's true. No matter how hoarse this voice is, <laughs> yeah. I can't be out there doing that. Mm. But if you feel like it puts you in a certain mood mm. and it, mm. and you feel sexual, mm. <laughs> then everyone yeah. is an appropriate partner. Shinda mm. moita kaya zam nim shinda mshinda kwa kati hit mwana nda kupira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about that, we are just coming to the end of this podcast, guys. And only ten, you just killed it in style. This is the last thing. It's a surprise. I never had it for him, and it, it's a surprise. What I wanted him to do was to just hit an acapella of Mwananda Kubirai. An acapella of Mwananda Kubirai. That's the thing. My fans, I know you guys are waiting for this. Ten. Are you going to do the beat with your mouth? Yeah. I'm going to sideline my whole zango. Anagamchira, anagamchira. It takes your father like one and a bit. 
Mananda Kupiroi Mananda Kupiroi Fata Mananda Kupiroi Yeah! 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 It's the podcast with your host DJ Mambo the King It's been nice chilling with you Holy 10 Yo, Thank it's you so much It's been really, really, really eye-opening You know I'm really happy I got to do this podcast with you man You've just opened my fans Ango Oko You know Their eyes you know on music on the world on everything out there man i'm really happy to be on this podcast and thanks for your time thank you so much my brother yeah guys keep on following my works at holy 10 it's at holy 10 music holy 10 music on ig on ig and other social media pages twitter facebook youtube everything is holy 10 holy 10 music yeah guys until next time keep subscribing commenting sharing downloading this is just it's dj mambo the king you know what's up at dj mambo underscore on instagram until next time guys stay safe Paspeto pane marenda kusira chakira ikuno mananda kupira mananda kupira